On your side, working for you. You're watching the 10. Right there, that is uh, Boston's Pizza in Grand Junction tonight. The Denver Nuggets coming off the uh, Game 4 victory Saturday, looking to lay their claim to the first title in franchise history in Denver. And they did it tonight. Garrett Brown joining us now at the uh, news desk. Really a historic night in Colorado sports history, not just Denver. Thanks, you go, you got thanks to Brad McLeod for the hat here. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, really, it's it's not a small deal. The Nuggets with uh, their first NBA Finals victory and um, almost half a century of uh, you know French comp competition. Forty-seven years 47 in the years. NBA. Let's not forget the like eight or nine years in the ABA before that when they sported very good teams. I mean, first time they, um, you know, first time they've even made the NBA Finals. So technically, you could say Denver Nuggets undefeated in the NBA Finals. I don't know. 1-0. We'll take it. Yeah. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't. I mean, easy. Miami's a heck of a team, and they could um, turn it on when they want to. But uh, Denver, who, God, it was a really, uh, I'm not going to lie, it was a sloppy game tonight. Uh, a lot of really bad turnovers and bad possessions, but they hung in there and played defense and turned it up when they had to. Especially the defense, really down the stretch yes. when they need to. But and it, that's what really... Got them through the game. Well, let's take a look at that game first to see how they got there. Nuggets coming off the game four victory Saturday, looking to lay claim to their first title in franchise history in front of the home crowd at Ball Arena. Early in the game, Jamal Murray would get it going, taking it all the way and throwing just a little extra spice on it to put the home team up three. The guard throws down a dunk, so why not have the big pull up from beyond the arc? Jokic knocks down the three ball, 15 to eight. Heat, though, they did come to play as well. Bam and Rabio goes up for the alley oop and slams it down. Why not some more Bam? First, he fakes the ball, then arises for the jumper and connects and draws the foul. That was a three-point play. More bigs getting it done from deep. Miami's Duncan Robinson on the wing connects, and he extends the Miami lead. Miami would take a seven-point lead into the half. So Nuggets trailing, coming out of the second half, looking to get going. Jokic there loses the lane but collects for the basket and the and one, making a four-point game. Nuggets really get it, getting going. Murray in transition there with the three ball, making it even closer. Nikola Jokic knocks the ball out and that looks like Gordon takes it all the way but Miami wasn't going away easy more three ball there now Jokic he spins in the post that post move we've seen all season long and it works and they needed that down the stretch still Miami being a pest Jimmy Butler hits a deep three then more Butler he was solid all playoff long he drive here then connect on the jumper and the heat late took a one-point lead Nuggets, Nuggets looking to retake the lead Murray's shall be off, but Bruce Brown with maybe the biggest bucket in Nuggets history with the putback to take the lead. And they'd hold that lead and win the game at a final of 94 to 89, taking their first title in franchise history. Nikola Jokic, who missed out on the regular season MVP, kind of controversially, gets something he probably holds a little more dear. He gets the finals MVP, which you can only get if you win the finals. So. I think he'll take it. Denver Nuggets started out as the uh, Denver Rockets in the late 60s in the old ABA. They were a great team in the ABA. I'm going to bore you with my nostalgia and you. Maybe some of you will appreciate it. And uh, uh, they stayed in the ABA until about 1975, 1976, until the big merger came. And the ABA was a fledgling outfit then, New, who is now the Brooklyn Nets, the Indiana Pacers, the San Antonio Spurs, and the Denver Nuggets merged with the ABA in the NBA. And um, the Spurs have since won five titles. None of the others, the Who's Nets counting? and the Pacers, have won until tonight when Denver won. And uh, it's a big victory uh, for, for Denver. And Cody, can we take that live shot again? Yeah, there it is. They're happy in Denver. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I don't see any fires or violence, so that's good. What, so where are the far. street poles? Are we pulling a Philadelphia here? No, but um, a couple more <laughs> quick exactly. player notes from, from this game. So Jokic, first time in history, like we said, he's been, had a historic playoff run. First time ever a player has led playoffs in total points, total rebounds, and total assists. And the Joker is the MVP of the finals, as well he should be. And um, congratulations to the Denver Nuggets. There'll be a parade coming up in a few days. We'll keep you informed on that because I'm sure a lot of people from Grand Junction are going to want to commute over to Denver for the parade 
for the 2023 NBA Finals champion, Denver Nuggets. Congratulations, Nuggets. Really a night uh, in, in Colorado sports history. Big, big, big. So we're proud of you. All right. A couple more interesting notes. So Jokic had a truly dominant postseason, not just the NBA Finals. He became the first player ever in league history to lead all players in points, rebounds, and assists in a single postseason. Veteran Jeff Green wins his first title at age 36. And actually, no one on the Nuggets team had won a championship prior except for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And that was back in the shortened COVID season. And rookie Christian Brown became just the sixth player ever to win an NCAA title he did last season with the Kansas Jayhawks and an NBA title in back-to-back -back seasons. That'll do it for your look at sports. Now back to you guys.